Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky and as you can see we're going to do some more uh, manipulation of text. The last one we did was waving the text there. That was an additive type of editing where we added a uh, bit to the letters here to make them sort of uh, follow a shape. And what we could do in some cases is do a subtractive one. So let's just do that. Let's get our line first of all. So I'm going to start here. Get the wavy sort of shapes that are going across here bring it over to here and then I'm going to get the this here I'm going to duplicate it bring it down here now what I need to do is I need to find a way to join these two lines up together so let's just go to our node editing tool that's the corner tool and there's a node tool add a node there bring this up to here Add a node there, bring this up to here. So see, join these two together. And where's my joiner? That's breaking curve, that's a closed curve. Okay, that's done it. And we'll join that. So closed curve, that's the one we want. Okay, that makes it into one object. If we change that to make it so that it is a object instead, let's convert that to curves. It's not text anymore. So let's do this here and make it into a compound object. And select, go to layer, create compound. Okay, so I'm going to select this now, select this. Perfect. How about that then? It worked this time. But we lost our line in the middle, so how are we going to do that? So let's just uh, Command Z, bring it back again. First of all, if you make a copy of this, so Command and Copy. Then we'll do our uh, Subtract. Then do Command V to paste that back in again. And this time we're going to cut away from this one below. Except that it's still text, so we're going to have to change that from text into... Uh, convert to curves first of all, then ungroup it, and then while it's still in a group, while it's still selected there, go back into this one here and create compound. So select that again, and then we can go to our subtract, and we've got our uh, curves. It's cut far too much of that G away there, it doesn't look great. If I was doing this again, I'd perhaps uh, make the um, I'd move that line back up a little bit or I'd change it a little bit so it wasn't going to chop some, so much of the gear away. But you know, it's one way of doing it. So what possibly could be done here just to bring those two lines back together a bit closer. It might look a little bit better. Okay, so that's another way of uh, making a wavy line in between two bits of text there. The first way I showed you in the previous video was to uh, add to the text there to uh, make it uh, those sort of shapes there. And with this one here, we've uh, basically just chopped bits away. Okay, so this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky, and I've been showing you how to do some stuff with Affinity Designer.